everyone. Welcome back to AI Motion Studio. In today's tutorial, we're diving into Flux Pull ID, which allows you to create consistent characters in your AI-generated images. This is a complete step-by-step -step guide on using Flux Pull ID locally in Comfy UI to achieve consistent faces across multiple images, perfect for AI movie makers, designers, or anyone working with character-based AI art who needs reliable facial consistency. So, what exactly is the Flux Pull ID workflow? In simple terms, Pull ID is a method that lets us generate images based on a single input image, preserving key facial features while allowing for changes in other aspects, like clothing, background, or style. This approach is especially useful if you're looking to create a series of images where the character's face stays recognizable, no matter the environment or artistic variations. We'll be leveraging Pool ID, a facial consistency model that works smoothly with Flux to avoid the usual VRAM-heavy solutions like training LoRa's, making this accessible even if you're running a setup with limited VRAM, like an 8GB GPU. By the end of this video, you'll be fully equipped to set up and use Flux Pool ID on Comfy UI Pinocchio for all your character consistency needs, whether you're working on a small project or producing a series of AI art. Let's get started! First, ensure you're running the latest version of Comfy UI if you're using Pinocchio. Verify that you have Comfy UI version 2.0. Check to confirm with the specific logo associated with this version. Now let's proceed with installing the Comfy UI Pull ID Flux node. First, go to the GitHub link and copy the provided code. Then navigate to the Custom Nodes folder in Comfy UI, click the path location bar, type CMD, and press enter to open command prompt in this location. Next, type git clone, add a space, and paste the copied GitHub code, then press enter to begin installation. Once the installation is complete, close the command prompt. As you can see, the installation was successful. The next step is to download the Flux Pull ID pre-trained model from the Hugging Face link. Save the model in the Models folder and create a subfolder name it Pull ID and save it there. Then download the EVA clip model for Pull ID from the Hugging Face link as well. Place the clip model into the clip folder under Models. Now, download the Antelope V2 zip file. Save it in the Insight Face folder, then navigate to the Models subfolder and place it there. Unzip the file and move its contents into the following path. Ensure everything is placed correctly. Otherwise, errors may occur during generation. Next, navigate to the Scripts folder to check the Python version used by Comfy UI. Scroll down to locate the files and you'll see CP310, indicating we're using Python version 3.10. Now, go to the GitHub link to download the appropriate version for Comfy UI's Python, in this case, the Insight Face CP310. Save this file in the App subfolder under Comfy UI. Then, open the App subfolder. Click in the path location bar, type CMD, and press enter to open command prompt in this directory. Paste the installation code and press enter. Once the installation is complete, close the command prompt. Lastly, we'll install the necessary requirements for the pull ID flux node. First, navigate to the custom nodes directory for Comfy UI's pull ID flux node. Then, open command prompt at that location. Paste the installation code and press enter to install all required dependencies for the node to function correctly. Once the installation is complete, you can close the command prompt. With the installation complete, we can open our workflow to start using Flux Pull ID. We've made this workflow available for download on Civit AI. To get it, visit civit.ai and search for AI Motion Studio, where you'll find the newly released Flux Pull ID Consistent Face on Comfy UI featuring Florenced. Download it to use Flux Pull ID on Comfy UI. If you encounter any issues with nodes or if they're not functioning, go to the Comfy UI Manager, click Install Missing Custom Nodes, and then Update All before restarting Comfy UI. This should resolve any node problems. Let's try some pool ID generations. Here, I'm using a real image of actress Zendaya, which I downloaded from Google Images. Alongside this, there's a prompt image where we want Zendaya to appear in a similar style of clothing, keeping the same background and overall image aesthetic, but with Zendaya's face.
Next, let's update her outfit by changing the image prompt to a sporty style. Then click Q prompt. Nice, you'll notice the face remains consistent. Let's try another prompt. In this example, I've bypassed the Florence nodes and used a prompt I copied from Mid Journey. As you can see, that works as well, a close-up shot of Zendaya. Now, let's try another image prompt. This time, we'll have her in a black outfit, holding a sword in a cinematic shot style. Let's see what it generates. Wow, it looks fantastic. As you can see, this approach is great for maintaining character consistency in your AI movies. Now let's have Zendaya play the piano. Looks great. You get the idea. Using a single reference image, you can create endless variations of any character without needing to train a Laura. With different prompts, you can generate any scene while keeping the same character consistent. And there you have it, our complete tutorial of the Flux Pull ID. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.